Hello, I'm Ethan Wagner, and today I'm going to show a tutorial of making a square calculator using coding. So, so, so our purpose is to make a square calculator. Just write down one side of a square, and the computer will calculate the perimeter and the area. So I believe we will need 4,000 text input for typing in one of the sides. And we also need a label. So I'm going to do, how about 800 pixels long? Okay, that's very long, isn't it? Let's try out 100 pixels. Yeah, 200. <laughs> that's too long. Yeah, I think 200 is the perfect length. So now let's do this. Let's simply just have no text, okay? We're going to also need another label right here and this label will, will be the same length 200 pixels so i think we want to move this around great and we want this guy to be blank So now let's uh, let's do another ABC label. We're going to drag this guy right here. Let's see that. Um, so let's just press onto that guy. See, so this is called label three. We want the text to be uh area okay so tap to 10 and the next one we want to be perimeter so so now we're gonna uh, grab another label drag it here and then here we're gonna type in um, we're gonna type in Perimeter. So now we have we have this right. Now let's uh, now let's go to the code. Here we have blocks. So one event. This one. Wait, um, we don't have to do that. We also need some more design things. So, so we're going to, in the text input, say, type in the lane. Okay, so we made the label. We need to drag this right here. Now we're ready. And also we need um, a button. The button is going to be here. And let's call it... Okay, so this is very long, isn't it? Let's try out um, a width of... Hmm. 
No, we just have to type in the width of 200 pixels. No, that's not long enough. So we're going to do 300. Now let's just drag this. Perfect. Now we got a button. So we're going to go to the code. We already have this block. And we want... Um, And we want the button, where's the button, yeah, and yeah, it has to, you have to click on it, and then, and then we're going to set text, and which text do you want? So we want to calculate this area. That's the idea of label one. So we want uh, label one. And the text we want is, is we should just grab this from math. Um, we're gonna grab this. Perfect, and now and now okay, so so we're gonna get look for get text, get text, get text, mm, get text. Oh, here it is, get text. So we ha so we'll have to multiply get text by get text like that, and that should be from uh, text input one. Text input one. See, and then. For the perimeter, this is label, yeah, we don't want label one, however, that is label one, yeah, and then we're gonna, um, set text, let's just grab set text right here, grab get text, Oh, we're not right now. Uh, we should we should get here. That's label number two. So we're going to type that in. Label number two, and then let's grab out the t let's grab um, math. And where's multiplication? So that's the multiplication operator. And then let's go back to UI controls. Let's look for get text and then i'm gonna grab that again so now we have two of these no we don't need multiplication we don't need that one actually we just need a four because a square has four sides <clears throat> so now we need to select for what should that be This is label number two, but from where should we get the text? Of course, from text input number one. So, uh, let's check this. We're going to run it. Run. Okay, so we're going to type in, how about nine? Okay, now let's click the button. Correct. It's er the first one is area and the second one is perimeter. Is area and the second one is perimeter. To see this better, let's try Control Plus. Nope, that's too close. And uh, let's see, T1 and 36. I don't know how to do this properly. But, uh, 
But that's the end of this video. Bye. Bye.